Good evening. This is Agashvani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Vice President Jagdeep Thanka terms Bloom Bazaar as endeavours to preserve Nagaland's biodiversity and cultural heritage. Deputy Commissioner Mugukchung Suvise Pochi calls on young people to be wise while exercising the right to vote. Israel Defence Forces declare state of war alert after Palestinian militants Hamas launched rocket attacks. And India achieves historic 100 medal mark in Asian Games. Now the news in today. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar has loaded the multifaceted nature of Bloom Bazaar, terming it as a concerted endeavour aimed at preserving Nagaland's splendid biodiversity and cultural heritage. In a message, the Vice President said, Bloom Bazaar will showcase not only Nagaland's diverse flora and fauna, but also its rich tapestry of indigenous music, handloom, handicrafts, culinary, delights and fashion. He expressed confidence that this visionary initiative would place Nagaland on the national tourism map, rendering it an enticing hub for both tourism and investment. Tankar said the transformative project will illuminate Nagaland's cultural brilliance and natural splendour, drawing visitors and investors alike, while nurturing the state's journey towards India's greater goal of achieving Atma Nirpra Parat and Viksit Parat. Bloom Bazaar, an initiative spearheaded by the Investment and Development Authority of Nagaland, was launched by Chief Minister Nipirio on September 30 at Kohima. Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Mugukchung Tsuvise Pochi called on young people to make wise choices, particularly when exercising the right to vote, as their actions and participation will shape the future of the nation. Speaking at the Celebration of Youth of Voters Festival in Mokukchung today, Poji underscored the importance of youth in preventing and addressing corruption as well as in fostering peaceful coexistence within the society. He said in a democratic country like India, progress and change cannot be realised without active youth participation and contribution. Assistant Election Officer Mukukchung Renben Moji gave an awareness presentation while District Mission Coordinator Moa Mendla emphasised on the importance of Mission Shakti, which is a comprehensive scheme launched by the Ministry of Women and Child Development aimed at ensuring the safety and empowerment of women across the country. Later, a demonstration of electronic voting machines and voter verifiable paper audit trail was conducted by district-level master trainers, followed by a signature campaign bletching to cast their votes in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections 2024. The Israel Defense Forces declared a state of war alert today after Palestinian militants Hamas launched rocket attacks from the Gaza Strip. The Hamas militant group carried out an unprecedented infiltration into the southern Israel and fired thousands of rockets into the country. This is the biggest attack on Israel in years by the Islamic movement. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed shock at the news of terrorist attacks in Israel. Modi said India's prayers are with the innocent victims and their families. Meanwhile, India has advised its nationals in Israel to remain vigilant and observe safety protocols in view of the current situation. In an advisory, Indian embassy in Israel has urged people to observe caution, avoid unnecessary movement and stay close to safety shelters. In case of emergency, the embassy can be contacted at 973 23-5226-748 and a message can also be sent at cons aviv at mea.gov.in Gifre District Wildlife Division organized Wildlife Week celebration in collaboration with Gifre Forest Division and Evergreen Welfare Society under the theme Partnership for Wildlife Conservation. Addressing the celebration today as special guest, Secretary to Department of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Wai Atsase Tongza, stressed on the importance of conserving forest, saying that where there is good forest, wildlife flourish. 
He also suggested the church to organize Wildlife Sunday, where people are made aware of the importance of wildlife conservation. Tong Tsa further emphasized on planting more trees, stating that the benefits and resource belongs to the people who nurture them. Speaking as the guest speaker, Subdivisional Officer Civil of Kifere, Lung Tipa said wildlife consists of both plants and animal life. Expressing concern over the rapidly decreasing number of birds and animals in our forest because of excessive hunting and illegal poaching, Long Dipa called on the students and villagers to connect with the different departments and organizations who are dedicated in conservation of wildlife. The Wildlife Week will conclude tomorrow. This news comes to you from Akashvani, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Kohima Forest Division, in collaboration with Divisional Management Unit, Nagaland Forest Management Project, observed a Wildlife Week by conducting a quiz competition yesterday. Addressing the gathering, Kohima District Forest Officer Chisai said, everyone should work in partnership with different institutions and organizations to carry the conservation movement forward. He called on the participants to contribute to the noble cause of protecting wildlife. Chisai also handed over certificates and cash awards to the winners of the quiz competition. With the aim to educate and equip teachers with knowledge of oral health and hygiene, a training and awareness program on the importance of oral health was organized by the National Oral Health Program, Kohima District, for school teachers at Government Middle School, Gayake, yesterday. District Oral Health Officer Dr. Simon I. Simi highlighted the detrimental effects of tobacco on oral health and also demonstrated the proper tooth brushing technique. During the program, tooth brushes, tooth based, and information education and communication materials were distributed to further support and encourage proper oral care practices. The two day Constellation 2023, an inter school fest, Organized by Assam Rifles Public School, Kohima, under the ages of IJAR North and Project Empathy, culminated today. The fest, themed Building Resilience, is a part of the second phase of Project Empathy. Five schools in Kohima took part in the event by participating in activities like artwork, story writing and role play. The students were able to acquire experiences on understanding and appreciating resilience in everyday life, foster teamwork and collaboration among peers, encourage creativity and critical thinking. The event further helped in nurturing the quality of resilience in the young minds, which is paramount considering the increase in anxiety and stress levels among children. And in sports in Asian Games, India has amassed a tally of 100 medals, including 25 gold, 35 silver and 40 bronze at the Hangzhou Games in China. This is the first time that India has crossed the historic milestone of the 100 medal mark. This is also only the second time India has won more than 100 medals in any of the three major games, the Olympics, Commonwealth Games and Asian Games. The country is currently ranked at the fourth place on the school board. President Robert Mumu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have congratulated the Indian contingent on winning a record 100 medals in the 19th Asian Games. President Murmu said the players have shown tremendous dedication, skills and character to reach the much-awaited sports milestone. The Prime Minister said it is a momentous achievement for India. Union Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has also congratulated the Indian athletes on their feet. Talking to reporters in New Delhi, Thakur said they are an inspiration for the sportsperson of the future. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Vice President Jagdeep Thanka terms Bloom Bazaar as endeavours to preserve Nagaland's biodiversity and cultural heritage. Deputy Commissioner Mukukchung Suvise Pochi calls on young people to be wise while exercising the right to vote. Israel Defense Forces declares state of war alert after Palestinian militants Hamas launched rocket attacks. And India achieves historic 100 medal mark in Asian Games. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. 